Happy Friday or Saturday, well it's not Friday or Saturday today, it's Wednesday and it's like 7.13am um, and uh, I am actually getting ready for work right now. Well before that, welcome back to Starry Style and in today's video I am trying a very interesting product. You guys know that how much I love to try on exfoliating scrubs, sheet masks, face masks etc. So I was on Amazon the other day and Amazon loves to pop up suggestions and recommendations for me. You all know that right? <laughs> so it popped up this carbonated bubble clay mask which I have been seeing all over YouTube nowadays. Like everyone's been trying that so I was like okay what's the deal with this guy? So I decided to order this and let me check how much it actually costs because I don't remember. It's like right on the top when you search it. So okay, it was okay. So this shows ten point six four dollars. Let's see if it is worth it. Usually, I like to try the five dollar face masks from Sephora, or I like to try the two or three dollar ones that you get at Ulta. Or sometimes I like to go the old fashioned way and use basin and haldi on my face. So, anyways, uh, today I am going to try the L. I am going to butcher this word, but. Forgive me. It's called the Elizaveka Milky Piggy. Oh, I like the name. Piggy. <laughs> Elizaveka Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. This one, this part was easier, right? <laughs> so all the writing here is in some Asian language. Oh, except for this one, thank God. And oh, and and my nose is a bit sniffly, but uh, it's morning. It's like really early morning for me, and. Uh, I always have cold in the morning and it goes as the day passes. I have already cleansed my face using the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser and this is something new that I've been trying these days. I've heard a lot about Cetaphil and um, so it kind of it's it's for normal to oily skin and it says it removes oil with the removes excess oil without drying which I disagree. It, it it did feel a bit drying on my skin but okay anyways so what this says is I have to uh, apply evenly on the face leave it for five minutes for bubbles to form maximize cleaning by adding water and lightly massaging contents into skin and rinse with warm water yes this is very important I like to take all my masks off you know all those that you apply and it hardens and then to wash off I like to take all those off with warm water never with cold water you know actually you should do that because the mask is all hardened on your face and if you just like rub it and take it off it's def it defeats the purpose of actually using the mask to improve your skin you know it, because it's all dried up on your skin and then if you tug and pull it's not going to do good things for your skin let me tell you let's open this bad boy I'm horrible at opening packages by the way like really horrible so this is the jar that it comes in for ten point six dollars, just this much. Let's see if this is. Oh wow, they have another packaging on this. Yay! I don't like to do so much of work like so early in the morning. Why? Okay, this comes with a nice small mm, spatula, and you open this part. If I can. Wow, I really suck at this thing. Why? Why you? Okay, so I'm back and this definitely looks interesting. What what is this? This looks like like some dessert. So before I apply my mask, let me have some tea. Because I have cold in the morning, I love to have ginger tea because it kind of um, opens up my nose a bit. So I really like to talk in the morning, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, so let's start with this funny mask. I have nothing on my skin. I just cleansed it with my cleanser. So I'm gonna start with... Oh wow! This this is jiggly. <laughs> this is like jiggly. Okay. So... i take this much and start applying evenly. I don't want to take it too close to my eye because <laughs> I'm worried that if this bubbles and gets into my eye <laughs> I don't want to do that when I said jiggly it immediately reminded me of jigglypuff 
Are you guys into Pokemon? Let me know down below. You know, one thing that I realized to have a really good sleep at night is to put your phone on the airplane mode. I don't know how much it really works, but I get an amazing sleep. So if you guys have trouble sleeping, you know what? This mask is actually feeling a little bubbly on my skin and I just want to scratch it off. But I'm not gonna. I can actually feel it bubbling and... Uh, this is not going to be good if I sneeze right now. Whew, so I'm going to wait and it says I need to wait how long? Uh, 5 minutes? Yeah. 5 minutes for the bubbles to form. So it's 7.27. I'm going to wait for some time and see how this bubbles up. <laughs> Does my face look doubled? My skin definitely feels really itchy because that, and that's not unusual, that's what I feel whenever I put on any mask. It's not um, allergic or maybe reacting to my skin, hopefully. I think it's my cold that's making me like really uncomfortable. Or because <laughs> I just want to, you know, like do this and I'm worried that it's all going to go into my nose. And it's not going to be funny then. So I'm just trying to control myself. <laughs> you. Add direct deposit and it's yours. A xylophone? A learning. Still. <coughs> I'm buying stilts, okay? I just wanted stilts. Stilts. Dad, that's just weird. We don't have more than some extra cash. Oh my god. So raise the green I wanna sneeze more now? No. <coughs> okay, seriously. Let me just post it on Snapchat. <laughs> oh no. I know. Oh no, it got into my nose. Let me clean that up. Okay, this thing is slowly uh, turning into something really uncomfortable for me. But, I'm just going to post this on Snapchat. I think it's, it'll be fun. Right? People open their Snapchats in the morning and be like, Oh, Shraddha is weird today. Yeah. I am weird. And I realized that I didn't put a lot of, I didn't put the mask in a lot of places. I'm really sorry. Like I couldn't see. Like the mirror is kind of far and I, I told you I'm practically blind without my glasses or my lenses. So it's been like 11 minutes and it's still bubbling. I can, I can hear it bubbling. And I'm not going to take it off right here. I'm going to go to my sink and take this off. Because if I take this off right here, it's going to be a big, huge disaster. So I'll just clean this up and be right back. So, I just washed my face and it literally took me like 5 to 7 minutes to do that because when I kept wiping the mask off of my face and I actually applied water as I told you, it kept bubbling up. <laughs> so, it was getting really difficult to take it off because as I applied water, it kept bubbling up and then I had to take that off and then it bubbled again. So, my, my bathroom sink it looks like a bathtub for minions right now because it's completely bubbled and um, yeah, definitely tiny tiny people could take a bubble bath in that sink. So, I'm actually going to zoom you guys in to show you what I observed after I washed that mask off and if it really worked. I immediately observed some redness right here but like ignore these, these are some weird mosquito bites. Um, I don't remember having a mosquito bite here maybe I did but like when I took the mask off I observed some red rings right here I'm not sure if 
I was allergic to anything in the mask. I'm usually not allergic to anything. Maybe my skin was drier in these areas and the mask, you know, dried it up more and that is why it's kind of red. And I did feel itchy in these places so I'm thinking that's why it's like red now. But uh, it should go down as the day goes so not too worried about that. I think it's just a fun thing to try out. It's not doing anything, um, it's not doing much <laughs> sadly. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to keep trying that to see if multiple uses of the mask actually do change something on the face. So uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update on the carbonated clay mask that I just tried. So uh, it's it, it's been like 10 minutes after I washed my face and I definitely felt my skin really really dry and not hydrated at all. So usually I take like one pump of my Equate Daily Moisture uh, before I apply my makeup to get ready for work but today I had to put on like five uh, pumps of that moisturizer because every time I put the moisturizer on my face my skin would literally drink it up so yeah I'm guessing all the carbon in that mask actually dehydrated my skin so I have a lot of moisturizer on just to make my skin feel comfortable because it was feeling really stretchy and dry you know how it feels when your skin gets really dry in the winter so yeah that's what I was feeling today and uh, yeah, after I applied my moisturizer, I also sprayed a lot of rose water on my face. So now my face is feeling uh, really comfortable and hydrated. So I wanted to update you guys on that before I left. So it was definitely fun trying out this weird bubbly clay mask. And I am actually going to keep trying this just for the fun of it. Uh, yeah, I realized I do like to talk a lot in the morning. I'm now going to go finish off my tea and get ready for work because I have to leave in like 20 minutes. And if you like this video, please like and share this video. And of course, subscribe to my channel because I post a video every Friday Eastern Standard Time and Saturday Indian Standard Time. So you'll be notified if you're subscribed to my channel whenever I post a video. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I shall see you next Friday. Bye.